How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Wolong Fallen Dynasty. So the goal of this episode is to wrap up the Demon Fort in Yellow Heaven. We are almost done and should be taking on the boss. Stuff let's take care of this angry tiger down here. A bunch of his friends are joining in the fun here, including the spiky ball of death. Looks like he took out some gin. There are a couple guys over here. There is a marker flag over here that we're going to grab. Come back over here and wait for the Polaxe guy to do his, his patrol. down here while we're at it. Chest here. We're gonna go back up and jump on Hammer Bro's head in a second. But let's just grab all the goodies over here. Should be another one right here, yep. Okay. Drop something. You actually see there that when I first jumped down that I used Zorb Vitality and then once I threw poison at him, he was actually, because he was stuck in the poison taking damage, I was actually getting some healing from that with the Absorb Vitality still active, which is kind of cool. Now I did, uh, I did get a, uh, an accessory on my other character for the Let's Play that had uh, HP recovery on wizardry spells, which was pretty amazing. So hopefully I have some luck and get something like that to drop again. So now, we should go take care of Mr. Bird. 
wait for Tiger to go a little ways away there. some item up at the couple items up at the top here one right here one on the ledge over here okay and we're gonna take care of this guy Pass by Get this guy. Get oh. seen by the bird. So, should be able to mess this thing up pretty good with the poison again. As well, the the boss of the area. Is uh, also wooded lines, so we should be able to mess him up pretty good with the poison. In fact, I am hoping we can get enough levels to be able to utilize a uh, toxic weapon. That would be ideal. gonna help out a lot in this fight and after that we should be pushing our wood up to 12 as well so we can utilize lightning weapon which is what we're probably gonna be using most of the time unless we can find some sort of lightning enchantment which I think that is the only enchantment that I have yet to find on my Let's Play character. I have gotten all the other enchantments by farming the monkey a thousand times. Victory is in sight! Charge! Okay. So now, I'm gonna go back and head through that. Uh, that door by the battle flag and take care of the area beyond that. That will lead up to the boss. guy Commandant Shao and I are alike in that we've remained loyal to the Imperial Court while lamenting what it's Okay, so to show you guys, we are going to hop down here but not quite yet. Um there is a strategic noose and ability to marker flag down there. That is uh, the only way you can get to that is by dropping into the roof and through the roof that way because there is a there is a door that does not open from the other side so it's ideally how you want to get down 
down on the other side here. Item on the roof. Forgot to open those doors, but we will do that on the way back. Over here, there's an item, but more importantly, I'm gonna go in this. You can drop down there too, but there's this cave that has the marker flag that I pointed out in the previous episode that was on top of like, a roof. Kind of impossible to get to. That is how you get that one. But yeah, you can drop in that other roof, but that uh, there's a little room there with a chest, but you don't really need to do that because that room is accessible. Um, the door is open, so if you're already down there, it's accessible. Doors. Take care with each step. Maybe your last. Oh, that way. So yeah. Going back up and hopping in the roof on the side. Get the marker flag. up and there will be a guy patrolling out here Come towards us prefer to sneak attack this guy get a weird patrol oh god saw me Sir. And so there's a warlock over here. Sneak up on. bro over here. See, there's a, a number of hammer guys here. Another guy over here. Sneak attack this dude as well. A little tight. He's got to hug the corner. Now I'm gonna come back here. Use that so he doesn't hear me. This altar, very important item. Dragon vein crystal. So we get another charge to our cure pot. Okay, 
towards the door. Getting confused what side it was on. Okay, so now. This dude. Now there is an invasion over here once you start up the stairs. close to the stairs here. Yep, here it comes. Hmm, none of that. Just trying to spoil the party. for a minute, but not too bad. So yeah, just keep that in mind that if you uh, get too close to the stairs, he's, he's going to activate. Alright, so we're almost done here. Wizard up here. Warlock wizard. And Jin took care of that fire pot thrower. a chest over here, right where the warlock was. There's another chest up here, left. So, there's a dual sword wielding big guy over here. We are going to pop this guy because he likes to throw fire bombs at you or fire pots while trying to fight the big guy. Okay. So big guy starting the flag up here. So these guys uh, like to jump at you and uh, they can occasionally, if they do like the jumping attack, they can follow that up with like a cross, a cross body like swipe, so be careful of that. And they have some, you can have some nasty combos with these new old swords. Crossbody. Yeah, that 
combo right there is the one that's pretty pretty nasty. I like to do that jump attack a lot, as you can see. There we go. This is a tablet down there. So that, uh, there is a trophy tied to all the tablets. And as I was saying before, uh, the golden cicada trophy uh, was tied to another one. And that's the one it's tied to. So once you give all the cicada shells to the to um, an NPC, NPC that we'll meet soon in the hub, um, yeah, we're gonna get, be able to get poison weapon here, or toxic weapon. Bring our metal up to 12. Um, so after you give all the cicada shells to the proper person, you will get a tablet, and that will, uh, that will tie into the, uh, to the all tablets trophy. So let's get inner breath. Burning flame wave is nice. And death sleep. Uh, yeah. Nope. Good death bog. Or death sleep bog. Definitely get toxin weapon. And. Frozen spear trap. So we're going to switch these up a little bit. I think we'll put toxin weapon there. The repression crush is fine. So I think we're good. So this boss, uh, as I said, is Wood Alliance. Um, he has some quick swipes, uh, which I have a problem deflecting. Uh, he's a big old guy. Um, best strat is to try and stay behind him. Um, Dark Souls booty strats, if you will. Um, and the only problem with that is he likes to jump into corners where he can't get behind him. So try and try and get behind him as, or on the side of him as best you can. He's got a um, a big old uh, red attack that's a slam down. It's kind of like a grab, uh, so you got to watch out for that. And it's another red attack that's like a projectile. So those are the two you need to be wary of. It does lightning and. Uh, does some like some like AOE stuff on the ground. He's gotta be careful of. There's the slam. If that hits you, he'll grab you. There's the slam again. And as you can see, the poison is seriously messing this dude up. You can deflect that. Power of some gin. There we go. That should be the end of him. Nice. That poison does work.
You fought magnificently. I need to take care not to be overshadowed. That guy gave me some trouble on my first playthrough because I was leveling earth and water, so you know wood is the counter to the earth. The glory of this so. victory. So we get another divine beast here. Those are our rewards. So now we should get transported to the hub. Um, next episode, we will um, we will do the main uh, battlefield. Or actually, no, uh, there should be a sub battlefield that pops up. Back at last, Hong Jing. So it so was worried, you know. <laughs> We will take a tour of uh, of the village in the next one. But right now we are gonna level up. We do have some new features unlocked: battle set and invade. Um, so with the battle sets, um, basically, we'll go into this a little bit later too and show you exactly what to do. But you can ba basically save 50 battle sets. Um, you can save like what you're currently what your character is currently at and then once we unlock respecking um you can go in respec and then choose different armor you know weapons all that and uh save that battle set um so essentially you could have different builds uh for each different phase and pull them out you know different at different times uh if you're let's say you're having trouble with a boss or something um can certainly do that i personally never did that in my first playthrough but it is a very very nice uh thing to be able to to do if you need so looking at these these uh divine beasts we're probably gonna be using quin long um but for right now since our our metal is higher we may use the other one but once we start ramping up our our wood virtue to utilize uh, more lightning, we will be switching over to the to the other divine beast. So we got some more wizardry spells to use. So we are going to pick up. Barb Conductor. And Surging Blaze. And Posing Slab. For metal, let's do life wither. That's a pretty nice one. And electricity hates haste. So that is about it, guys. We will continue on the next one. Hopefully, you're all doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.